Hi everybody, welcome back to Emma's Plans. I am here to plan in my classic happy planner for next week. Um, I'm gonna open up to my pages. After last week's random slash mystery sticker book spread, looking forward to doing something a little bit more my style um, than the random situation that I did last week. I pulled out this scrapbook paper from um, the Happy Memory Keeping Pad. There's a lot of really fun designs in here. Um, and I just love this black rainbow moon star um, design. I think it's really nice. And then I pulled from the same pack, there's just black and white speckled, wa uh, not washi. I have washi in this like similar design. Um, but this paper as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one, but I'm definitely using this one. And then for the stickers, I thought the Year to Shine would go really fun with this paper, particularly this like mint, teal, seafoam green color. And this is one of the few sticker books that I have two copies of. I just love it so much. It's 100% my style um, with the colors and the designs. I just think this sticker book is totally me. And I was able to get this for $4.99 on sale. So it was worth the second book purchase. I also grabbed the black boxes from Mojo Jojo Plans just so I could bring in more black with the paper. And then I pulled Fancy Blooms. It's just a black in white predominant color book. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this, but just in case I wanted to have it. So I'm gonna move all of these stickers to the side. I'm drinking a Coke Zero. Um, I don't know if any of you need to have a fun drink while you're planning, but I do and I enjoy a Coke Zero. So let's see. I want this paper to just like be at the top. Um, it has this kind of divided section. I'm just going to pull this off and let's see. Let me get a pencil. So I'm just going to measure how far across this goes, pull it down a little, so about right here. And I don't need it to go down very far, so probably cut it right here. And I'm gonna take this paper trimmer that I got from Cricut and Slice this. So line it up the best I can. Boom. And then do it the other way. So that should be the right size. I didn't account for the bullet, not the bullet, the, um, what is this called? Oh my gosh, I'm struggling today. I didn't account for this section, so I might just turn it off. Um, as close to it as I can get. to go fully across so that really bothers me <laughs> see this one's too small too okay take two okay so I'm just gonna trim off this part so I'm not making that same mistake probably about right here 
here. This paper trimmer cuts so nice. And then I do the same thing this way. Oh my gosh. My pencil is not working. I'm cutting things wrong. It isn't going how I thought it would. So here it's gonna be about right here. And then for this way, it'll be about right here. Alright, take two. doesn't have to be perfect, I say now, because I am going to rip it so it has that ripped look, um, but I wanted like the width to go fully across the page um, just because I really like that look. Okay, now we're going to do this side of the page, which will be a little longer. Um, so let's see. So now I'm gonna take all these scraps. I'm gonna keep the bigger pieces just because I really love this design. Um, I might use it in like my bullet journal just for some decoration. So what I wanna do is rip this so it's kind of like not a straight edge at the bottom. And I want the white to show, so I need to rip it this way. So we're going to do one of these numbers and kind of make sure it's not exactly perfect and then do the same for this one. Ah. I think it's so funny when planners, including myself, are like, I want it to have a ripped imperfect look. But if it doesn't turn out exactly how I want it to turn out, I um, do it again until it's the perfect rip look for what I'm going for. So that's going to be the start of our spread. I need some tape to tape this down. I just have some tape from Tombow and I'm just going to tape the back of this. I really like this tape runner. I think it's so convenient. Um, I like it better than like using a glue stick or um, just like scotch tape. I think it's really convenient and it sticks really well and it doesn't like wrinkle your paper or anything like that. Okay. So this is a great start, I would say. So I'm going to flip through the year to shine and kind of get an idea of what stickers I might want to use. I don't think I want to use any foil. Um, but I do want to bring in this like blue teal color. Oh, I kind of like the dark blue too. Like this sidebar sticker, very into. <clears throat> and then this focus, I think, goes with the color scheme I'm wanting. Um, 
what else? Some washi. Today's goals I think are good. I don't think I wanna bring in circles. Or do I? Mm. I just have stickers on my fingers as I'm looking through. Um, I think I'm going to use these like blue dots. More foil. I love these flowers. I'm not going to use them today, but I'm going to keep them in mind. Probably one of these stickers. Maybe the blue, the navy blue one. I do like this today. I don't usually put all these stickers on my fingers. Usually I have like some wax paper. I didn't grab any out just yet. So this is my current situation. It's like Edward sticker hands. Okay, and then I'm gonna leave this one open because I'll probably come back. So I need to put these down for like a hot second. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get them back up. Move this over, and then I'm just gonna do a sidebar sticker. I love a sidebar sticker. It's where I write out, you know, what am I gonna be working on this week, work-wise and just personal. And I think it's just how I like to start my spreads. And then I also want to pull in black boxes. I want this to be a, a darker spread than the one I have for last week, which is just like this chaotic, colorful spread. So I want this one to just be darker and I don't know more muted, I would say. So these are sticking a little bit to my table, so I'm gonna pull them up and put them down. For errands, I do a lot of errands over the weekend, so I'm probably just gonna put this down Saturday or Sunday, I'm trying to, to decide. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is Put it on Saturday and I'm going to put it on the bottom, just right in the box. Oh, that didn't go down as well as I wanted it to. Gently pull it up and then give it another try. You're gonna have to go there for now. Okay, it's a little wrinkled. But now it looks good. And what I do sometimes is kind of section my planner and I'm going to do that this week. Um, I'm going to do all these middle boxes lines that are just going to be checklists. I have a lot going on for work um, next week so I'm going to want a lot of to-do lists for each day. So I'm just going to put these boxes in the bottom section and that's where I'll do any you know important notes or um, what else do I write in my boxes? Usually I'll put like my personal to do in a box or in this bottom section. And I want to layer a little bit. I think put this box here. And put another one. Today, which I kind of want to 
to go here, but then what lines am I gonna do? Hmm. I'm gonna put it in this one. And then I'm gonna go back in here. Actually, do the other wood. Um, let's see. I think I want to have a tracker. Put a couple of them down. I don't like that this blue is different than this blue. Can you see? I wish it was like that brighter navy color. Just throwing things off a little bit. I guess you could do two teal ones, or I could cut the habit tracker off of this. Um, I might do that. But let's do, let's put this one down first. So, I think I want to white out this week's list, so I don't have to look at it. I need to buy a new white out. This one, I'm like constantly fixing the tape part of it. Um, it's like always coming off the, I don't know. It's always coming off the plastic and I have to fix it. So add that to the shopping list. Um, so I'm gonna put this habit tracker right here and then I'm gonna cut this sticker. Hopefully do it straight. And see how it turned out. Pretty good. And then put this one down here. Cool. So that is good. Sidebar habit. Oh, it's a little crooked. Let's see if I can fix it. I don't mind things to be not perfect, but if it's like noticeable to me, I try to fix it when I see it. So I said I'm gonna put lines up here. I think I might put a couple more boxes down. I don't need the entire set of lines. So if I like hear how I have a box over the line, my lines are gonna be a little less. Um, so let's, Get a couple more boxes. Mm. I like this washi strip too. I think I'm just gonna go for it. side somewhere. I really like that. Um, I want like a square box that's the teal and blue or something a little bit smaller. to cover up the corner. Mm -mm. 
corners go like this. black box on this side. Maybe that same shape. Put it down here. Don't want it to cover these. Um, so I'm going to go down here and maybe more washi potentially there was a fun like splotchy I think one of these I like this one dream big sparkle more shine bright kind of Then I like these little tiny speckles, and I think I'm just gonna put them like up at the top. So like I said, my lines aren't always perfect, um, but that's okay. I just kind of go quickly and try not to think about it. And I think that's when they turn out the best. And this last one. So I'll put like a header up at the top. I know this book has headers. I don't know if I want to use them. I could. Darker too. And then another blue one. Cool. I really 
like that. Um, I think that's a good touch. I think that is it for my spread. It's decorative and very functional, which is definitely what I'm going to need for next week. Um, so again, that was with the Year to Shine book, all the like blue and teal colors. I used some black boxes from Mojo Jojo. And then just this paper pad from the Happy Planner. Um, let's put it back on the disc so we can see how it looks all together. Oh, I think that looks really nice. I might write in blue pen. Um, I like writing in blue pen every now and then just to change it up. But I think that's like a good combination of color with um, some black and white. I love this paper. If I can have a whole pad of just this black <laughs> and white starry scene, I think I would buy that. Um, Thanks for hanging out. Feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.